Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel On the menu today I'm going to make some wonderful scallops or scallops I'm very lucky to get these um, These are Rye Bay scallops from East Sussex in the south of England They're quite famous They're nice and big Nice size Beautifully fresh, I got them today. Luckily, I've been in the area and found an amazing fishmongers that had them beautifully fresh. This is the actual scallop that you're used to seeing. This here is called the coral, this orange part, which is totally edible if you want. It's slightly fishier tasting. For the recipe I'm gonna to do today, I'm gonna to remove them, but totally edible if you want. Some people eat it, some people don't eat it. These are so famous, these guys in this part of the world, well in fact all over the world, that there's actually a scallop week in Rye, which is around, I think, mid to end of February. And all the restaurants in the town get together and do special dishes made of these wonderful scallops. It's very popular. So if you get a chance, get down and see them, or at least check out their website. I'll leave some details below. Right, let me get on with these. Like I say, I'm gonna remove this coral for the purpose of the dish we're going to make and then we'll get moving so there we go as you can see I've removed the coral which pretty much just comes off in your hands you might need a knife just to sort of touch it a little bit but you know it, they come off so easily now what's really important now we've got our familiar looking scallops is to wash them really well even if they've been cleaned by your fishmonger or taken out the shell which is called to shuck or shucked Still give them a nice rinse, you know, a real nice rinse in some nice cold water, and then we can get them cooking. The secret of scallops is to cook them very quickly and on a very high heat. They go well with anything. You could make curried scallops, Italian, you know, just on and on. You can just keep going. They work really well with Asian food. They work, you know, just anything. They are absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to give them a nice wash. Then we're going to get moving with this recipe. So I've got a kind of wax type of pan here. I've got in there just a touch of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could use any oil you want. Maybe a sesame oil might be quite nice for this. What we're gonna do now is just drop in some garlic, ginger, and some onion. Just a little bit, here we go. So we're gonna cook all of our seasoning, or the big part of our flavouring first because like I say scallops cook very quickly in goes some black pepper plenty of that I'm going to put a dash of salt not too much at all I just want to fry this for about another 60 to 90 seconds. I'll be back then. Okay, and at this stage now, I'm going to throw in some Chinese cabbage. If you don't have Chinese cabbage, you could use regular cabbage or maybe a Savoy cabbage, which looks very much like this, but much darker green. And again, let's just cook this for about another 60 seconds, 90 seconds. So as you can see, our cabbage has started to wilt. The ginger is still gonna have a nice crunch to it, what we want, and also the onions are not gonna be kind of too floppy. I want them slightly crunchy. At this stage, we're gonna go in with fresh coriander or cilantro, roughly chopped. I've also got here, as you can see, the zest of a lemon. And then we're gonna squeeze a whole lemon juice in there. So we've got a real sort of tangy Asian mix going on here. Nice and zesty. There's a few of my pips in there, of my lemons. Not that bothered about them personally, you may be. So 
let's give that a mix. And that part's done. Off goes the heat. We're gonna remove that, set it aside, get back in with our pan. So there we go. I've not cleaned the pan, there's no need to clean it at all. There's still some nice flavors going on there. I have added a little touch more of my oil. Here I've got just a little bit of ginger. This will help kind of infuse that oil and give it a nice flavor. Now as that happens, we need to quickly get in, place in our scallops. Some black pepper. Again, a touch of salt, not too much. And we're gonna just cook those for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna flip them over. Okay? Looking absolutely wonderful. Now you have to cook these very fast and very hot. Otherwise they'll get really kind of chewy. So again, another, another 20 seconds now. We are now gonna reintroduce our lovely cabbage. So I think they're about done, in we go. So all of that lemon and the acid from the lemon is gonna really also help our scallops just cook along. Just mix that around. Off goes the heat. And that's done. It's absolutely divine. That is one of my favorite dishes, in fact. I really, really love this. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.